After three days, without food, without water, without sleep, Snow and the seven survivors of the Anderson reached the periphery. There, adopting the identity of General White, she began to form a partisan resistance and lead the fight back against the king. But there was another survivor of the wedding day slaughter. A princess, if you believe the tales, of a world long since fallen before his majesty's finest. Named for the ashes of her world, she was known only as Cinders. But it was her that Rose loved, and it was her that Rose would have married were it not for the king's intercession. When the soldiers came, Cinders fled. She took to the stars and swore to fine and rose. She began to search every planet, every moon, longing for the day when the jewel on her glass wedding band would change from white into red, indicating that its twin was near and with it her true love. And as she searched, she sang.